welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm going to show you how I store my jewelry and my sunglasses keep in mind this does not include my necklaces because my necklaces are like my little babies I have to have those displayed I have to be able to see them because those are the ones that I reach for the most so yeah I'm going to show you where I keep my jewelry and my sunglasses which is right here which is why I'm in the floor right now so this is one of those like three drawer storage units I don't even know where it's from I've like had it for a long time but yeah I used to have clothes in it but since I completely made over my room I don't have the same furniture anymore and with my old furniture I had like all my jewelry displayed like in one of the like the chest I guess on top of it because it had like a mirror in the back and you could like display it nicely but with this new furniture and this new room I was like I don't want any clutter I want to have everything stored away where I know where it's at but not everybody knows where it's at you know because sometimes if you display everything it looks a little bit too cluttered and your girl already has enough stuff and I just don't want to have to display everything you know so I decided to put it right here I used to have clothes here but now I have like my brushes my hair stuff right here I have my sunglasses jewelry and in the bottom like a little bit of electronics my eyelashes and then in the bottom I have like actual clothes I have like my kimonos and stuff but yeah this second drawer is specifically for my sunglasses and my jewelry which does not include necklaces I used to have my bracelets displayed in some like heart holder that I made a while back from my channel I have a link down below if you guys have been like a long time subscriber then you know which one I'm talking about but yeah it was like three glass pieces put together and then in between it was held by a candlestick but yeah I just took away all of my bracelets and I put them over here I still have that holder I don't know what I'm gonna put in there or if I'm gonna like take it apart and make it something else but yeah for now this is where I have my jewelry and for now I like it it's very convenient everything comes apart so now let me take you closer inside this drawer so you can see exactly how I keep everything organized so you can maybe get some tips so let's get started so as you can see on my top layer I have my watches, my earrings, and then my sunglasses and glasses. So let me just go one by one for each. So for my earrings I actually put it in this like display holder that I made. I have a video for it on my channel actually. I will link it for you down below. All I did was take like a pencil basket and then the rollers for your hair. Just glued them onto this thing. If you want to like a more detailed way on how to do it just take a look at my video. So yeah, that's what I did. This is how I set them up. That way I know which ones I have and then it's easier for me to just grab them, put them back because, you know, it's the fastest way. So this is for my earrings. Next up, we have my watches. So for my watches, I have them in this white tray as well. This one came in a set of three. I got them at TJ Maxx. I like these because they're more hard and since watches are more heavy, it's more sturdy for them. You know, they won't be like moving around as much so this is how I displayed them that way I know what I have and when you can see what you have it's a better chance of you to wear it you know because it's easier to grab grab and go put it back less messy you know what I'm saying so yeah I like this and a lot of the little trays that I have don't match because it was hard for me to find trays that were like big enough for my watches and my glasses so I was like let me just go with the bigger ones for these that fit and then like the smaller ones just for everything else that's smaller so even though they don't match, at least these bigger and sturdier ones fit the heavier stuff, you know. So this is where I keep my watches. Now the sunglasses. Now for my glasses, I also use one of those trays that I got from TJ Maxx. It came in a set of three. It's this longer one. And they're just displayed like one back to back to back. That way I can see which ones I have. And again, this one's good because it's sturdy and heavier. And also keep in mind, if you're going to layer it up like I'm doing right here, make sure the ones on top are either longer than the ones that are in the bottom because these blue ones from Dollar King are like more flimsy. So I knew these sturdy ones were going to fit exactly on top and not be moving around as much instead of these being on top and like falling inside each basket, you know. So that is my first layer of my drawer. Now let's go on to the bottom. So this is my bottom layer. I have jewelry as well as random stuff. Also, these little baskets were from Dollar King. These four came in one and these two came together. So it was cheap. These are a little bit flimsy. I wanted them white, but they didn't have any. So I just stuck with blue because I was tired of looking. So let's just go one by one. 
So these are my bracelets. Um, they aren't organized in any specific matter. I just kind of like throw them in there. I don't really reach for my bracelets, that's why. I have these, but I don't really wear them. But you just never know. Sometimes you just want to grab a bracelet, you know, and wear it. So this is how I have my bracelets. So for the rings, they're kind of thrown in there too. You just have to dig for what you're looking for. Also, if you want to do another one of these earring holders and do one for the rings, that could work too. You could even do it on this little one. Just buy some more of those hair roller things. So this is where I have my rings. So I had to have an extra little tray for my eyelashes because they unfortunately don't fit in my makeup drawer anymore. And even though I don't wear them as much, you just never know when you need to put some on. So even though I have a few, don't really wear them, but you just never know when you might need them. So I have them right here, just stacked up. So these four watch bands actually go with my other watch. This one, you could change the band on it to whatever color you want, so that's cool. And then I just have lip balms. And then in the back, just the extra watch sections. Skinny wrist probs right here. <laughs> Gotta take out in your watch because it doesn't fit your skinny little scrawny arm. So I have these here. So then I have my phone cases here. These actually still fit into this one because I'm still rocking that 5S. Don't worry, I'm going to upgrade soon, but I just have them here just randomly, even though my phone is naked right now, living that thug life with no phone case. So yeah, I have these here just randomly. And last but not least, I have just a random tray with stuff. I have an umbrella, the connection for the USB, another one, my wireless, my wireless mouse, my portable speaker, just some USBs, just random things. Look it, you guys are probably too young. Some of you, too young to even know what this is. But it's a library card. What's a library? Like, what? <laughs> so yeah, just some random stuff that I have. So this is my bottom layer. I don't know how I got lucky that all of these practically fit in there perfectly, which is a good thing. The size of the basket all depends on how big your drawer is and how many you could stack up against one another. For me, it was only two. But that's good enough. That's all I needed. Let me just stack them up and see. I'm stacking up this big one in the back. That way, those flimsy ones, if they were on top, they would like move everywhere and squish my sunglasses. So that's why these are going on the top. See, doesn't move. Then my glasses as well. This one's more heavy, so it needs to be more sturdy. So this one's gonna go here and it's not gonna move. And then my earrings. Voila. So this is pretty much how I set up my drawer. I also wanted to mention that this piece is the third piece that came in this set, which I got from TJ Maxx. Um, this one didn't fit anywhere. So I'm gonna try to fit this one into my makeup drawer, but yeah. Just so you can get an idea that this was the set right here and this one sturdy too. So having it displayed like this is better for me because I know what I have. And you know sometimes when you put things away like where you don't see them you tend to not wear them. That way I want to be able to see something and be like oh I haven't worn that in a while let me just grab it and wear it. So this way I have easy access to everything just take it out put it back in. So yeah this is my drawer organization and I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> So that was how I keep my jewelry and sunglasses organized. I really hope you guys got some cool tips and some ideas on maybe how to store your jewelry if you don't want to have them displayed for everyone to see, you know? So I really hope you guys enjoyed this and be on the lookout for more organizing tips because as I told you guys, I remodeled my room so I tried to figure out like all these ways on how I could just fit everything because I have so much stuff that I'm like, oh my god, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> so I'm just trying to get everything like set up in its place where it doesn't look too cluttered and stuff so yeah be on the lookout for those and hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in my next video bye